And now, a rare look inside the empire of the queen of domestic arts, Martha Stewart. In one of the rare television news interviews since she went to prison and made all those headlines in 2004, she sat down with Nightline Cynthia McFadden, who is here to talk about it all. Her business, her time in prison, what she thinks of her competition. Start. Go. <laughs> Good morning, Diane. This was a no holds barred interview. We got two full days of access to her world. It's a critical moment in her company's history, and she's meeting those challenges <laughs> with more energy than you'd imagine possible, as I discovered the hard way when I I tried to keep up with her. Take a look. <laughs> oh, they all have pumpkins. Oh, wow. Martha Stewart rises before her roosters. Her work ethic is legendary. I can't do that. And applies to everything she does. Anyone who doubts it has never exercised with the woman. She's not fooling around. So, what happens if you're sick? Do you, then you'd stay I'm, I'm in never there. sick. You're never sick? Why get sick? It's a waste of time. Stewart is charging full steam ahead to reposition so her company, which got slammed by the recession. So far this year, they've posted a $35 million loss. All this is magazine. But Stewart and those who work for her clearly have a plan. In addition to her television show, her magazines, and her books, the company has inked several new merchandising deals. And she says she makes no attempt to separate herself from her brand. There's not a, just a little piece that's still yours that the rest, everybody else doesn't get? Oh, there are pieces, but they're also concealed at work. And they're concealed at home. Does that make you feel better? Home is a working farm in Bedford, New York. How many acres do you have? 150 something. With acres of gardens, three donkeys, five horses, three geese, and an awful lot of chickens. Oh, here's two eggs. Oh, look. People are driving off the edges of the road again. So, don't do it. She doesn't say or else, but she doesn't have to. Anyone who works for her understands her exacting standards. It's a little wrinkle. And she's using those standards to try to save her company for the second time in five years. The first time, of course, was in 2004, when she was sentenced to five months in prison for lying to investigators about a stock sale. The next year, the company lost $59 million. Did you ever think there was a danger that the company would go under? Not really, because I'm an optimist. <laughs> but you had to have been scared. I mean, you'd worked so hard to create it. Well, I was pissed, okay? Pissed that something could actually affect that. How much money? Did I lose? Pers personally, oh, I'm sure. $500 million? No, probably more than a billion dollars, of course. So More than a billion yes, dollars? Yes, and, and if you add in what the company was worth. So come on, do you kick yourself just a little bit? How can I kick myself? There are other people to be kicked. <laughs> Enough. Let's get on with the, with the future. The future, of course, includes competition from rival domestic diva Rachel Ray, a competition Stewart dismisses. She just did a new cookbook, which is just a re-edit of a lot of her old recipes, and that's not good enough for me. So she's different. She's, a, she's a, more of an entertainer than she is with a bubbly personality than she is a teacher like me. Martha appeared on Rachel's show last week. I sat down with Martha right after uh -huh. she did your show. She said, "We don't. She doesn't do what I do. It's not it's true. I don't. <laughs> it's not good enough for me. It's true. It's a hundred percent true. So it doesn't make you mad. A Why bit? would it make me mad when it comes to producing a beautiful, perfect, high-quality meal? I'd rather eat Martha's than mine too." <laughs> And that is part of what Martha Stewart has going for her and her company. Even in the eyes of her competitors, she is still the queen. In your heart of hearts, you believe that if you got hit by a bus tomorrow, this company would go on without you? Yes, it would. Definitely. But I'm not going to get hit by a bus tomorrow. I've already been hit by the bus. Once is enough. <laughs> She claims 37 million people follow her various enterprises from her five-year-old cooking show to her, her cookbooks. And while she is indeed the queen of domestic divas, 
She's a queen who can't officially rule her own company, not until 2011, as per an agreement with the Securities and Exchange Commission. So, unofficially, what happens? Well, she sits at the head of the table. She has the corner office. When I asked her why she was right. sitting at the head of the table, if she wasn't running the company, she said, it's my table. I gave it to the company. And after all, I am the founder. Mm. And can I say something? <laughs> Rachel Ray, you cook for me any time. <laughs> I remember that pretzel-coated chicken you made right here. Nothing better ever.